Good morning, friends. It's Miss Jackie, your occupational therapist here, and this week we are going to be doing some Christmas activities. So for supplies today, what you're going to need is you're going to need either the handout or you can have mom, dad, or your teacher just recreate and draw the handout if you don't have a printer. So we have this handout with the Christmas trees and another one with some reindeer and some Christmas tree light bulbs. All right, so those are the two handouts for today. You're also going to need some markers, some Q-tips, and some paint. Okay, if you don't have paint, you could also use um, a stamp pad that you could put your finger in and use a stamp pad that way. Sorry, there's a really bad glare. I was trying to fix it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to color our Christmas trees. So I'm going to color the star in yellow first. So you're going to open up your marker or your crayon and pull it open using two hands. Then we're going to color in the stars on all of our Christmas trees. Try to stay inside the lines. You're going to be resting your hand on the table and just wiggling your fingers to color it in. We don't want the movement coming from our elbow or our shoulder. We want it coming from our fingers. All right. So we're gonna keep on coloring all those stars, staying inside the lines, wiggling our fingers. All right, I've got all five of my stars colored in. Next, we're going to color in the Christmas trees. So we're going to open up our green marker, or you can use a crayon, and we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to try to go around the ornaments. However, if you do go on top of them, it's not a problem because we're going to paint over it. So we're going to color in all of our Christmas trees. Trying to stay inside the boundary lines and moving our marker so it goes around the ornaments as best as we can. And your paper is going to be on a table, so it'll be a little bit quicker. They're a little different for you. Color in all those Christmas trees. All right, so I just finished one Christmas tree, but you're going to color in all five. So you can see I made my Christmas tree green. All right, and then you're gonna use your brown marker and you're gonna color in the bottom of your Christmas tree trunk brown, okay? Now, next is the fun part. Next, we get to decorate our Christmas trees using Q-tips. So, I have a Q-tip here and just like you hold a marker or a pencil, you're gonna hold the Q-tip using our pincer fingers, so our thumb and our pointer, and it can rest on that third finger. This is really good practice for handwriting. Now you can see on a plate, I'm using a Thanksgiving plate, but I have different colors here. I've got orange, red, green, and blue. Now another fun thing you could do is maybe mix a little bit of it together if you don't have a color and see if you can create different colors. So I'm going to take some red and put it over here and then I'm going to take some orange and mix it together and I'm going to see what color I get. 
I don't know. So it kind of just makes um, a more red orange. So I'm going to take some green and I'm going to try to make a brown. So I can use that for the trunk too. So we're going to mix, mix, mix. You can stir it together. Cool. So this looks awesome. And it does. So red, orange, and green make a brown color. Okay. So I'm going to use that brown to do my tree trunk. I'm going to color in all my tree trunks brown. Holding my Q-tip. And if you get paint on your fingers, that's okay. It's gonna happen and we can wash our hands afterwards. Again, I'm doing all my tree trunks brown. Now I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna do my ornaments. So I'm gonna do this ornament, these ornaments. I'll do some in red. So we're just gonna dab and go in a circle. We can do any design and colors that we want. These are your Christmas trees. So you get to decorate them any way that you want to decorate them. Okay, we'll add some green ornaments. Red and green for Christmas. There's my first Christmas tree. Now I can keep on going and do some of my other ornaments. So again, all your trees are going to be already colored in green. You're going to go around and do all your ornaments. All different colors. However you want to do your design since they are your Christmas trees. Do all orange ones on that tree. Maybe I'll do some blue ones at the top here. And finish off with some green ones at the bottom. And then maybe this one I want to do an alternating pattern. With just red and green for Christmas. All right, so there you go. When you finish, you can hang it on your fridge. They are gonna look so good. That is our Q-tip art. So I'm gonna put mine over here to dry and I'm gonna get out my reindeer finger painting activity. So this one is where our hands are gonna get a little bit messy, but that's okay, it's good for us. It's called sensory processing. So. You can see this was supposed to look like a strand of Christmas lights, but it's missing the lights. We have to add the Christmas lights. Same with over here. And if you can tell, that looks like a fingerprint. And that's right, because we are gonna use our fingers. So I have five different colors and I'm gonna stick each finger in one color. So we really have to pay attention to our fingers. So I'm gonna do blue for my thumb green for my pointer, orange for my middle finger, red for my ring finger, and brown for my pinky. So now I'm going to go through and I have to isolate my fingers to try to get whatever color I want onto our light bulbs. So you could tell now I'm creating my lights. They look so cool. All right, this is such a fun one. I hope you guys are really gonna enjoy this. Look at all my light bulbs. They look great. All right, and I'm gonna come over here. If I need some more paint, I can stick my finger in the paint. And this one, I'm gonna do a pattern. I'm gonna do a red and green pattern. So I would like you guys to try to do a pattern on at least one strand of your lights. All right, so you can tell I did red on the top, 
green on the bottom. All right, and on the bottom one, I'm gonna use green and orange. So I have to use two different fingers and I have to alternate. So I'm doing green, orange, green, orange. All right, and then at the top of this one, I'm gonna do just blue. All right, those are my Christmas trees and all their lights lit up. I hope that you guys have a great time doing all of your fun finger painting and Q-tip painting. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me or write below in the YouTube video. All right. Have a great week, everybody. Talk to you soon.